Hi there, Simon from simonwood.com. Uh, today's wine, the Tin Mine, a blend of classic white varieties from Zevenwacht in, uh, in Stellenbosch, and the classic uh, varieties in uh, particular here, Chardonnay, Viognier, Chenin, Roussin. I imagine that's the order, um, highest proportion first, so uh, let's see how it turns out. Whoops, that's just that's burp. Let's see how it turns out. Well, I could probably dissect it and go through the, the four great varieties and say, well, I can get a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And uh, uh, maybe I'll do that when I come to write my notes. But what, what I, I, how I see it as a, uh, an entity, uh, what they've managed to get is, uh, I'm presuming it's been, um, been in a barrel for a while and maybe even barrel ferm fermentation. It's got this um, juicy, rounded, uh, slightly peachy character, uh, but it's got a little bit of the spent match sulfury character um, of something that has uh, not been messed around with too much well, once it's been in barrel they've let it age there and uh, it's got a little bit of picked up a little bit of that slightly uh, benevolent cabbagey reduction um, so it feels like it's going to um, be a wine where there's the there's the power uh, but also thanks probably largely to the Shannon uh, there's a little bit of uh, freshness in there and uh, certainly a lot of intrigue yeah, big, rich, rounded, slightly creamy, um, uh, and there's this broad peachy, um, peach passion fruit. Uh, but then there's these like nutty edges in there, and I think part of the nuttiness is to do with um, uh, aging on the leaves. It seems to have picked up a creamy fatness about that. Uh, but also sometimes Chenin Blanc gets a, a slightly nutty character. But speaking of Chenin Blanc. Just when you think all those flavours are getting that little bit too uh, rotund, uh, the Shannon acidity kicks in and sort of goes woo 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 and rains it all in, keeps it fresh. And it seems to be giving this uh, uh, slightly, what well, the, the type of, um, uh, hmm, how would I describe it, the earthiness that uh, it's sometimes you get in Loire Shannon. Uh, where it can, if you get too much of it, it almost comes across as being uh, uh, just a, li a little bit metallic. But here, there's just a little bit of it, and it's uh, it's, it's sort of uh, uh, yeah, c cajoling the wine into good behaviour. So uh, I like the richness, I like the fatness, uh, but then I like the way in which it's all reined in. So the finish I'm left with uh, is clean. It's uh, there's, there's the juiciness of the fruit, uh, but um, I'm left with uh, I'm left thinking I want some more of it. So maybe I'll have another slug. Yeah, I like that. Um, and uh, yes, it's, 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 uh, I don't know whoever's put the blend together, whether they've uh, uh, thought, right, well, a little bit of this, a little bit of that, or it's just trial and error, but uh, they've done a pretty good job. And uh, so um, I think I'll uh, go and see if I can find, actually some lobster would be rather nice with that. Mm. See you soon.